Everyone always wants to know, when are we going to need math? Well, how about for some free Wi-Fi? Because this math meme promises you that if you can just solve this integral. Problem is, this seems like a tough one. But truth be told, you don't actually need any calculus to solve this. You just need to know what a definite integral represents geometrically and a little bit of algebra. So what does this definite integral really represent? Well, definite integrals give us the area under the curve of this function. So we're just interested in the area under this function from minus two to two. And really, we can think of this as two separate functions if we do this distribution. So what's the area under the curve from minus two to two for these two functions? Typically, we'd have to do a bunch of calculus nonsense, but the fact that we're integrating over a symmetric interval, minus two to two, gives us some very important clues. You see, if we do this for an odd function, on one half of the interval, the area will be negative, on the other half of the interval, the area will be positive, and it will cancel everything out. And so it doesn't really matter what the function is, if we're integrating an odd function over a symmetric interval, the area will end up being zero. And although this function is quite wonky, we can just rely on the algebraic fact that x cubed is an odd function, cosine of x over two is an even function, and the square root of four minus x squared is also an even function. When it comes to these functions, an odd times an even times an even is an odd. And so this function that we're integrating over a symmetric interval is an odd function, meaning the entire integral is zero for this part. All we have to figure out is the part of the integral that's just one half square root of four minus x squared. Now this isn't an odd function, so we can't use the same trick, and you might think we have to actually do some calculus here, but no. Integrals are just area under the curve. And this function happens to be a semicircle of radius two. So all we need to do is compute the area of this semicircle, multiply it by a half, hey, wouldn't you know it, we're getting pi. Which is like super frustrating because the Wi-Fi password is the first 10 digits, and you'd probably have to use the internet to look up those digits in the first place. If you thought that wacky integral was fun, you'll really want to check out this one. I promise it's unlike anything you've ever seen. So click the video on the screen, and I'll see you in that one.